Got it. Enough of that. Uh, welcome to the Writer's Life. Which is not sponsored by Pfizer. <laughs> um, this is the place where you get the sights, sounds, smells, tastes of my particular Writer's Life and where you get the truth about the Writer's Life. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, punch the like button and uh, tap the bell for notifications. so You don't miss out on one unbelievably exciting video um why did i say not sponsored by pfizer because uh i saw a i saw the i listened to the rubin report one of my favorite podcasts um while i was lifting weights today and he showed a montage of all the mainstream media outlets most of them you know like cbs nbc uh cnn MSNBC, whatever, um, even Meet the Press, uh, George Stephanopoulos' show. Like, it was incredible, actually. And, like, the big story right now, they want you to, to be afraid again because there's another variant of the COVID virus thing out there, I guess. It's, like, called, like, MS2567.8 or something crazy, you know, like that. You're never going to remember. And it... Um, you know, look at all those people dying in the streets, right? <laughs> you know. But on every one of these mainstream media um, programs, every single one of them sponsored by Pfizer. So what's that tell you? Pfizer is demanding that they do stories that will increase their revenue, that will make people so afraid that they go out and get yet another vaccine. Um, it's just incredible the, um, how the wool is being pulled over people's eyes, and it's just incredible the gaslighting um, that they're doing. I, you know, I don't know how, how these people call themselves journalists. I really don't. I mean, how can you how can you like live with yourself? Like, well, Pfizer made me write this story today, so that's based. I mean, Pfizer doesn't talk to them directly; their editor does, and the editor gets his orders from above his or her orders, I should say. Um, so that's the reality of it. Um, anyway, don't be afraid. But already, like, uh, Dim Whitmer in Michigan is already starting to make people wear masks again. It's going to happen in California, I bet you. And I can see it happening in New York. They're going to start, they're going to start right back in with the masks. Maybe, maybe not. I'm this close, this close to getting in the Jeep with my computer and my skis and getting the hell out of here. I'm just, it's, it'll, it'll take just, just the tiniest push and, and I'll be, and I'll be gone. And, you know, I'm sure some people will be like, don't let the door kiss, kick you in the ass on the way out. But so what I can write from anywhere. I can write from Italy. I can write from anywhere. Anyways, that was just about, I don't mean to rant, but, um, the big yawn. So today is my, release day for like the 15th moonlight book or something like that. Uh, I don't have a copy of the paperback yet. My author copies have not arrived, but it's moonlight, moonlight runs. Anyway, oftentimes what happens when a new book is released, um, there's this phenomenon called the big yawn that takes place. In other words, the book just sits there and does nothing, you know, don't forget, like, uh, one of the major publishers admitted during the recent, um, during the most recent uh, trial over, like, uh, you know, the core trial over the big four turning into the big three, um, they admitted that almost, that most books only sell about 12 copies. <laughs> That's just fucking ridiculous. You know, I sell 12 copies, like, in an hour sometimes, right? But... It, you'll only have the big yawn if you do nothing about your sales. And I take a proactive approach. Uh, so Moonlight Runs will be a part of a big bu a, a book, bub. Um, new releases for less promo, which lasts about a week. Um, and, you know, and I'll naturally um, be promoing it on social media and stuff like that. But uh, social media gets old. But... Um, and we'll have a really decent launch. Now, this type of book, Bob, it won't send Moonlight Runs to like the top 10 of the 
overall Amazon charts or anything like that. Some book clubs will, but it does create momentum, like a really good momentum of sales. And it will also affect my backlist of Moonlight books. Already today, I have not all my Moonlight books are with Down and Out Publishing. Um, the shorter ones are under bare, my Bear Media imprint. And already, like I've sold a bunch of those today, just, just off the back of this new release. It's hardly even been released yet. And the promo hasn't even started yet. So that's that to me is not a yawn. That, that to me is like success. And that's the way it's supposed to work. Um, you know, people, people really like this Moonlight guy. Uh, it took about almost 20 years for him to catch on. But, uh, you know, he's just crazy. He, he, and maybe people like that. I, you know, he's, he's, he's different. You know, he's not boring. Like an accountant. <laughs> I'm so sorry, accountants out there. Well, I've got this thing against accountants, and I don't know why. I, I don't have a thing against accountants. I just, you know, there's more exciting occupations out there. All right, before I get myself in trouble, I probably already got myself in trouble with that whole Pfizer rant. But uh, anyway, just telling you the truth. If you come to the writer's life, you get the truth. All right, listen, I got to roll. I'm running late today, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. God, God willing. Ciao, ciao.